As Basin Electric maintains reliability with an all of the above energy strategy, the cooperative is a leader in renewable energy adoption. The cooperative has about 1,800 megawatts of wind energy in its portfolio and is adding solar generation as it becomes available and economical. Basin Electric recently sent a letter of intent to apply for the Rural Utility Services New Era Funding. Ben Hertz is manager of Power Supply Planning. Basin Electric has submitted a proposal to the RUS New Era Program. RUS will be evaluating our proposal along with other G&Ts and they'll get back to us sometime later this year. Uh, upon a response, uh, we'll have 60 days to provide a formal application to the program. And in the interim, staff will be working on the inputs necessary to perform this. These are uh, incentives, grants, and low interest financing for clean energy projects that can be stacked on top of other government incentives. So the result can be very advantageous to rural electric cooperatives. Part of the application process is to compile a community benefit plan. Chad Reisenauer is Director of Community and Member Relations. The Community and Benefits Program is a one area of the, the scoring program for the next era funds. Uh, there are four areas that you can focus on in that. Uh, there's a workforce development pro part of, of the program. Uh, there's energy efficiency for end use consumers. Uh, there's a clean energy for agricultural program. And then there's a diversity and equality um, initiative, the Justice 40 initiative, uh, that's also included in that. Uh, the benefits program can be any or all of those four programs. Uh, currently, we're just looking at internal programs that may fit those as well as looking for external stakeholders that may uh, fit within those uh, four areas of focus.